In this video, we're going to attempt to solve a rational equation of the form x over x minus 1 minus 1 over x minus 2 equals 11 over x squared minus 3x plus 2. When solving equations with fractions, we like to clear out the fraction by using the least common denominator. However, to identify the least common denominator, we need to know all the factors represented in the denominators. While we can clearly see the first factor is an x minus 1, the second fraction has an x minus 2, it's not as obvious what's in the, what factors are in the sec, in the last denominator. Let's factor the denominators so that we can know what they are. We're multiplying to ac, or 2, and adding to negative 3. This is negative 2 and negative 1. Because there's a 1 in front of x squared, we can factor using those numbers of x minus 2 and x minus 1. Now we can clearly see that one factor is x minus 1, another factor is x minus 2, and there's no need to repeat the x minus 2 or the x minus 1, so we have our denominator. We will multiply each term, then, by x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 1, x minus 2, and x minus 1, x minus 2, which will allow us to reduce out all of the denominators. In the first fraction, the x minus 1's divide out, leaving x times x minus 2. In the middle fraction, the x minus 2's divide out, leaving minus 1 times x minus 1 equals, in the last fractions, the x minus 2's and the x minus 1's divide out. So all we have left is the 11. We now have an equation we can solve by first distributing through the parentheses, giving us x squared minus 2x minus x plus 1 equals 11. Combine like terms to give us x squared minus 3x plus 1 equals 11. When solving equations with x squared in them, we like them to equal 0 first, then we factor, and set each factor equal to 0. Let's subtract 11 from both sides so it equals 0. x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0. We're now ready to factor, multiplying to ac, or negative 10, and adding to negative 3. We can see this is done with 5 and 2, if the 5 is negative. Because we have a 1 in front of x squared, we can use those numbers in our factors, x minus 5 times x plus 2 equals 0. Once it's factored and equal to 0, we set each factor equal to 0. x minus 5 equals 0, and x plus 2 equals 0. Adding 5 to both sides, we get our first possible answer, which is 5. Subtracting 2 from both sides gives us our second possible answer, negative 2. Of course, before we're done with this problem, we want to verify that our answers are not extraneous solutions or solutions that would make our denominators equal to 0. A good place to check it is the LCD, which represents all of the denominators in one place. Let's first check the 5. 5 minus 1 is 4, and 5 minus 2 is 3. Neither factor is 0. This tells us the 5 is an acceptable solution. Let's test the negative 2. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3, and negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. Because neither factor is equal to 0, this also is an acceptable solution. The way we found our solutions is we identified the LCD by factoring our denominators. Multiply every term by the LCD to give us an equation we can solve by making it equal to 0 and factoring. Be sure we check our answers in the LCD, so that the LCD is never equal to 0.